Book of James Chapter 2 My brothers and sisters, do not show favoritism in your faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. For if a man comes into your assembly wearing a gold ring and fine clothes, and a poor man in shabby clothing also comes in, and you pay special attention to the one who is dressed nicely and say to him, Sit here in a good place, while saying to the poor man, Stand there, or, Sit at my feet. Have you not shown partiality among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters, has not God chosen the poor of this world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom He promised to those who love Him? Yet you have dishonored the poor. Do not the rich oppress you and drag you into the courts? Do they not blaspheme the noble name by which you are called? If you really fulfill the royal law according to the Scripture, you shall love your neighbor as yourself, you do well. But if you show partiality, you commit sin and are convicted by the law as transgressors. For whoever keeps the whole law yet stumbles in one point is guilty of breaking it all. For he who said, Do not commit adultery, also said, Do not murder. Now, if you do not commit adultery but do murder, you have become a transgressor of the law. So speak and so act as those who will be judged by the law of liberty. For judgment is without mercy to the one who has shown no mercy. Mercy triumphs over judgment. What does it profit, my brothers and sisters, if someone says he has faith but does not have works? Can that faith save him? If a brother or sister is poorly clothed and lacks daily food, and one of you says to them, Depart in peace, be warmed and filled, without giving them the things needed for the body, what good is that? So also faith by itself, if it does not have works, is dead. But someone will say, You have faith, and I have works. Show me your faith without your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. You believe that there is one God. You do well. Even the demons believe, and tremble. But do you want to know, O foolish person, that faith without works is dead? Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac his son on the altar? Do you see that faith was working together with his works, and by works, faith was made perfect? And the scripture was fulfilled which says, Abraham believed God, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. And he was called the friend of God. You see then that a man is justified by works, and not by faith only. Likewise, was not Rahab the harlot also justified by works when she received the messengers and sent them out another way? For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also.